I'm Ellis Martin, and this is Money Talk Radio. Join me now for a conversation with Terry Lynch, CEO of Power Nickel, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol PNPN, and in the U.S. on the OTC as PNPNF. Power Nickel is a Canadian junior exploration company focusing on developing the high-grade NISC project into Canada's first carbon-neutral nickel mine. The NISC project is located in Quebec province and is benefited by generous tax credits that cover 50% of exploration costs. A Hydro-Quebec substation across the road supplying low-carbon, inexpensive hydropower, a stable political environment with strong government and First Nation partners. It's located besides a major highway and nearby town, and there is shallow mineral depth. The NIST property comprises a significant land position with numerous high-grade intercepts. Power Nickel is focused on expanding the historical high-grade nickel copper PGE mineralization with a series of drilled programs designed to test the initial NISC discovery zone and to explore the land package for adjacent potential nickel deposits. Terry, welcome back to the program. It's great to visit with you today. Ellis, always a pleasure to chat with you, my friend. You keep exceeding expectations. I knew these drill results were coming. I didn't know what they were going to be. I didn't know exactly when they were coming. Your latest news release states that you have 39.6 meters with 4.19% copper equivalent, and that's pretty outstanding and very consistent with what you've been delivering. Yeah, a couple of weeks prior to that, we did 32 meters of 7%, as you recall. So I guess we drilled 31 holes on the Lion Zone now, about 10,000 meters, and we're like 26 or 27 for 31. And at least half of them are stunners, right? I mean, we're going from like probably low at 4% to its highest 20% from 7, 8 meters to 40 meters, probably averaging over 15 now, so of like 7%. So it's staggeringly good intersections, very close to the surface and a tremendous jurisdiction. How does this flesh out over the next couple of years as you continue to define a resource. And I guess what I'm asking is, how does this turn into a mine someday? There's actually enough there to be a mine now. I have no doubt this will be a mine. question is just how big it's going to be. Generally, how these things go, these polymetallic deposits, and if you look at a range of them, like if you looked at 15 of them, for every ton of copper metal you find, you find between two to seven tons of nickel, averaging around five, okay? So if we find 20 million tons of copper nickel, which I think it'd be a low number, but let's say we had that, then that would imply somewhere between 40 and 140 million tons of nickel, maybe up to an average of 100. That would make this a world-class copper mine, a world-class nickel mine. So this is going to be big in my view. Obviously, we have to continue to execute so that the listening public will want to. I mean, I, I think we're treated. Like if I decided just to quit and go away and play golf, become a surfer late in my life, I was like you. <laughs> I would put a for sale sign on this and we would sell it for three or four times I'm to this what we are currently getting for it right now just because it's got such amazing productivity in the ground already and such great bones. But we don't want to do that because we're well funded. We've got really great geological and uh, geoscientific talent around us advising us literally the world's leaders in the polymetallic space. Dr. Steve Beresford, we're obviously showing the success with the drill bit. So why would you stop now? We're just getting steam. So I know you're going to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's about nine or 10 maybe big copies copper mines in the world. What will it take for you to become one of the next 10 producing mines in the world? And how soon can that happen? And let me tack on a third question here. How's Quebec situated to facilitate this? Because I know you're not going to do it on your own. Yeah. I mean, when you think of the big ones, you're thinking of these giant billion ton top of porphyries, which might average 1%, you know? That's like the Cheeky Kamada and the big ones in Chile and the famous one in Australia, Olympic Dam. This will not be that. You're talking about billion tons at 1%. Hedam Partners, which is a credible investment bank out of the UK, they have a research report on us now suggesting that we'll find at least 9 million tons of 7% copper and maybe as much as 90. So let's take in the extreme case of that, that 90 times 7 would be effectively 560 of your metal contain, whereas, whereas a billion times one would be effectively 100. So it'd be like half of like Olympic Dam, in theory, on the copper side, but then every bit as big again on the nickel side. So what's cool about this potential upside is you're getting it for free and buying it at a deep discount rate now. And I think that's what's wonderful as an investor is that you can see that, hey, these guys are delivering is probably worth a lot more than what it's worth right now just because of its crap market and nervous people before the election. And there's all sorts of excuses as to why the stock hasn't popped off after these last two unbelievable holes. But at some point it will 
break. And just like I predicted a year ago when we were at 20 cents, I said, it's going to bust open and here we are at 80. One of these days we're going to wake up and it's going to be 250, just like that. Look, Terry, patience, sir, patience. This market has been terrible and now's a great time to position yourself in companies like Power Nickel. We're not telling you to do that. We're just asking you to consider it. And why wouldn't you? And I think your stock has done fairly nicely during one of the worst markets I've ever seen in my 30 years in this business. Yeah, listen, hey, relative to our peers, we've done a great we're proud of that. You're always trying to maximize your value for your shareholders. They've been so great, had such great shareholders along the way that got us going. And now Robert Friedman, Robin Keelan, and I think at the last count, 15 billionaires in this deal, Ellis. That's what we got. You know, because we've been blocking and tackling meeting these guys. They're impressed with how we execute, how we operate. And that's why we've been able to maintain growth in these very, very trying markets and even maintain access. So we're really fully cashed up. We had raised 20 million in June. We got 14, 15 million at the start of the quarter. Another eight coming in in Warren exercises due to our spin out. We're in great shape other than after a couple of big holes like that, and it didn't go up. And it's like, I'm like thinking, hey, do you think that was easy? You know, like, I can, you know, like, holy cow, even around, you know how tough it is to pull intersections like this. I mean, luckily the line zone, I believe is continuing to grow. I think we'll find bigger intersections and the hard rate is there. So this is just a blessing and we're just going to execute it as best we can. Well, I just see opportunity here. And I think you doing this interview with me will expose this company to a great deal, many more retail investors, family offices, and those individuals who are seeking such opportunities. And again, I caution the audience, Power Nickel is a paid sponsor of this program. I am biased, but we like good opportunities here. Yeah, listen, that's fair enough. I'm a big believer in Power Nickel, and I, I'm the biggest owner of Power Nickel. I have put in the most money in the last two and a half years, like four and a half million bucks, myself and my family. So this is not a position you can trade off of, Ellis. We got to deliver the goods and help me either if somebody partners in and helps us build this thing and, and runs it, and we have a joint venture status, and that's the best way to do it. Or if somebody comes in with a whopping offer, and like I've always said, look, is it for sale? Everything's for sale. But if somebody's going to offer me four hundred fifty million today, and we're worth one fifty. The answer is no. You offer me two billion, yeah. Okay, because you're taking a lot of risk away. We're going to get there, I believe, anyway. But if you're taking two years worth of risk away, of course, I'm a risk reward sort of guy. And there it is, kids. Power Nickel is for sale. You heard it from Terry Lynch's mouth. Terry, it's always great to catch up with you. Thank you so much for joining me today in the program. Thanks, Alex. Great to, great to talk to you. Have a great day. Cheers. I've been speaking with Terry Lynch, CEO of Power Nickel, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol PNPN and in the U.S. on the OTC as PNPNF. Get the complete story by going to PowerNickel.com. Subscribe to Money Talk Radio and the Ellis Martin Report. It's free. Go to EllisMartin.com.